we have been given uh, information about two countries, the home country and the foreign country. And what I'm going to do is put this down in a table format. We have the home country and the foreign country. The amount of labor that the home has is 2,400 units. In the foreign country, there's 800 units of labor. The labor requirements for Apple. In the home country, three. And for the banana production, ALB is two. For the foreign country, it's five and one. Before we go on, let's uh, find out the opportunity cost uh, in the two countries of, say, producing apples. So it's three by two for the home country and five by one in the foreign country. So uh, opportunity cost of producing apples is small in the home country and the foreign country has a comparative advantage in producing bananas, right? Let's uh, try to figure out what the world supply function would look like. For the home country, the opportunity cost of apples in this country is 1.5. At some point here, you would have home country specializing in the production of uh, apples and foreign country specializing in the production of bananas, right? So you would have quantity of apples over quantity of bananas in the foreign sector, right? right? So you'll have 2,400 divided by the unit labor requirements for apples, three. This is how much apples would be produced if all the resources in the home country were spent in producing apples. Foreign country would be producing bananas and given that it has 800 units of labor divided by ALB, which is the unit labor requirement, this is a point where home country will specialize in the production of apples and foreign country would specialize in the production of bananas. So you have 800 here, 800 here, so it's at one. So when the quantity QA, QB star is equal to one. So basically what we are saying in this case is that it should be QA plus QA star, but at this point, QA star is going to be zero and QB is going to be zero, right? So QA star is equal to zero, QB is equal to zero because at the vertical line, the two countries will specialize in the production of the two goods. So at one, we have a vertical line for the supply function. And what is the opportunity cost of apples? Well, it is five. And this is a point at five that this supply function will become horizontal again. So this is what our, what this is what the supply function looks like. Okay. Now what we need to know is, well, where does the demand function lie here? So we've been given an equation here This says demand for apples over demand for bananas is equal to price of bananas over price of apples. So if I was to write this down, this is quantity demanded of apples over quantity demanded of bananas is equal to price of bananas over price of apples, right? Or this can be write, written down as one upon price of apples over price of bananas. So this is what we've been given uh, as a demand function. So let's just plot this uh, equation down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down uh, some values of PA by PB. And then we're going to calculate what the quantities would be. And the quantities uh, would be equal to inverse of PA by PB, right? So suppose PA by PB was one. Well, quantity would be inverse of one, which would be one. Suppose the uh, price was two. In that case, quantity would be inverse, which would be 0.5. What if the price was 0.5? In that case, it would be one over 0.5, and we have two, right? We have one, one. This is one point. Then for price is equal to two, this is price equal to two, the quantity a by B is 0.5. In this case, this is the world price and this is the world quantity demanded, relative demand. When it is two, the price is two, the demand is 0.5, right? And when the price is 0.5, the quantity is two. So this is really what the demand function looks like in this case. 
right? We have this demand function uh, from the equation that was given to us, which was this, right? Which translates into an inverse function. So what do we have here? Well, we have the intersection point on the horizontal point here. The world price, PW, ends up being equal to 1.5, right? Which is equal to the home country's autarky prices, right? So uh, relative prices, this is equal to the autarky price for the home country. So in this case, home country would produce both the goods and the foreign country would specialize in the production of bananas, right?